Hello, hello. Welcome back to the Ascension Diaries channel. My name is Alexis and this is the Daily Report. It is July 27th at 1.05 p.m. Mountain Time. And I have some news to report about the, the planet and the energies that we are in. And for those of you who do not know, today is the day of the lunar eclipse, which means that the Earth is going in between the sun and the moon, so it's going to be casting a red shadow upon the moon. They call it the blood moon sometimes, and unfortunately, it's not going to be visible from North America. I have here on my other side to show you where you actually will be able to see it so shout out to those of you who are in Norway and in Russia and in Greece and in South Africa and in Australia all of you who I know are watching this right now hello and enjoy the view from us over here in the entire dark zone of no eclipse. If you wanted to know some more information about this particular eclipse, I have pulled up this article on astrologyking.com so it can give you a little bit of an a little bit of the astrological effects. So some of the cool stuff I noticed was that this total lunar eclipse is on Friday and occurring at 4 degrees and 4.44 degrees. 444 degrees Aquarius and is conjunct Mars. Um, my rising sign is Aquarius, so the Aquarian sort of the go get them and at whatever cost and change everything. Oh, that's funny. My laptop's at 44%. Um, <laughs> that energy is here and available to you, but also it is conjuncting Mars, which is the uh, fiery planet, the war planet of emotional and ch emotional challenges. And <clears throat> as well as its c connection to Uranus is also not helpful, but Saturn is there to help with bringing in some governance over that whole thing and I wanted to show you that this is sort of what it's supposed to look like and we have if you want to know a little more moon the moon conjunct Mars is a, a strong influence of this lunar eclipse and you may feel a strongly in the more sexy and brave attributes your quick instincts and fighting spirit can be used to defend your home and family so you may end up being a little bit of irritable today um, there may be some tension and it's only showing you the parts of yourself that get triggered and so these things that cause you to get extra emotional today this is a blessing. The full moon, uh, the moon always is the shadow aspect of ourself. It illuminates our shadows at night. That's sort of the spiritual side of it. So the things that are getting illuminated today in your behavior and your interaction with everyone, the things that cause you to have emotional triggers, these are blessings because this is the time where these tiny things that don't usually come up are going most likely going to be exposed to you. And that is your blessing as a training master to go, oh, this is a distortion in the way that I thought about things. Thank you for showing me this. And I allow these emotions to happen. I am accept that I am having this emotional response. I thank this emotional response. And I am here to bring balance to this part of myself that is clearly imbalanced. So... If you are having these triggers, just know it's part of it's part of this sort of time that we are in and that it they are a blessing and a gift to show you that this is just a tiny part of your frequency that's a little bit out of balance and it's just this is just a balancing act. We are just trying to bring ourselves back to that unity, that oneness, that pureness and in every moment and every choice we get to do that. So we don't have too much activity from the other areas of influence so it's interesting so this lunar eclipse is the, one of the biggest energetic players in today's um in today's overall energy influence on us which is really cool so definitely there's a lot of people writing articles about this eclipse definitely look into it further if you're interested and observe it celebrate it it's a great day um, we've been waiting for this eclipse all month and transformation is just continuing to happen 
We are day two into the Lion's Gate portal as well. So a lot of sun energy is, and there's a big portal of potential and wonderment and creating your own life is still open. And the peak of that is still coming on the 8th of August. So we have a little bit of Schumann resonance activity, but not much from last night, just before midnight mountain time, of course. And we have a, you can see here, more of a representation of what that activity was looking like. Nothing too crazy compared to what we were dealing with, this nice little blast that led us into today and this eclipse season. You can see here on HeartMath that we've had very, very simple activity in the other graphs that are measuring the Schumann resonance around the world. We have a blast every day in Lithuania. Alberta is actually cooling off compared to what it was. Saudi Arabia is still not giving anything. California is very even. Um, New Zealand and South Africa as well. So you can also see here how quite even and even tempered and close by all of these readings are worldwide. So the Schumann resonance is quite steady and which shows me that there isn't as much crazy activity with the sun and with surrounding influences cosmically and is showing that as well on all these graphs. The x-rays seem to be behaving a little odd, um, but the solar wind is down to average. All the other graphs seem to be going pretty normal. We have the magnetics seem to be pretty steady. Again, this is the x-rays. They're getting a little, little uh, irritated. And, but it's being captured and dealt with in our geomagnetic protective shield, sort of, so I wouldn't be too concerned unless you were having some sort of intuitive information about this. And of course, I would ask you to share that with us. The electron flux is staying really and bouncing in between out of radiation storm levels. There is this cosmic storm, like cosmic energy is still around. The electrons are still buzzing. Um, I wanted to show you again the solar activity, what's going on. I actually clicked on this graph today, and it doesn't appear to be there, but there was a moment where there was a dot and a line, just like a light of light, a dot and a line like this through the graph. And I was like, okay, and it, it hasn't lasted. I wasn't able to show you, but it was a little interesting. I've been told to, you know, begin watching that. Global consciousness dot has been hanging out in the red, which you can see here up in this area, <laughs> basically most of this um, day, which is interesting. It's not loading right now, of course, because why would it load when I'm trying to do the show? <laughs> oh, it's that orange right now. Oh, it's getting a little better. But yeah, uh, over an extended period of time, we've been in the red. So you know, this lunar eclipse, blood moon, uh, it's conjunct with Mars. There's a lot of red energy, and it seems like this is continuing to be a theme. I'm just pointing out patterns here. And, of course, when it is in the red, it means that there is less collective consciousness coherence, which means that there is less um, flow between people and telepathic communication, like when you're finishing people's sentences and things like that, or knowing someone is thinking about you, so you call them up, those sort of things. There's less of that. According to this study, which is randomized numbers around the world, the more those numbers are closer together and any when they're having these constant checks, that is supposed to mean that the consciousness is the more even across the planet, which means there is more coherence in the collective, according to this. And that's, um, I've seen many studies where they've done the random number generators and it's crazy. They can have a robot that will rotate at a certain degree out of 360 and move like an inch or two inches or whatever, and then do it again. But when even baby chicks think that robot is their mother, the their collective consciousness as tiny little tiny itty bitty things will somehow get the number generator to have this robot turn towards them and move towards them with each um, random um, choice. So I know this is a scientific phenomena. That's why I've brought it along for the ride. We have less lightning going on than we have over the last few days. There was a bunch of crazy lightning going on and Suspicious Observer's channel um, did a whole little, um, 
what's that called? Where there's just a gathering of photos and footage together. A montage. <laughs> a montage of it. So you can look that up. I did not include that in the in the thing, in the show today. Along the East Coast, there's the most activity. We can look into, of course, Europe's getting a little hotter. We look into the earthquakes. Earthquakes are still occurring over in Hawaii, in Alaska, and in California areas around the world. Otherwise, things have been, at least in the last few minutes, things have been good. We can look down here and see the biggest one that we had was in the Bering Sea of 4.7, and that's about it in the last few hours. I have a little bit of world news to look over. It seems like there is more info about the Greece wildfire satellite imaging that shows that they cooked it with a direct energy weapon, I'm sure, or something. They just like, from a satellite, just like buzzed it and melted some cars like they did in California. It's kind of funny to, it's not funny, but it, it, it's, um, it's funny to see this pattern so easily reproducing itself until I guess enough people get it and I encourage that to happen in this moment now and we have some other things like apparently Vladimir Putin and is inviting Donald Trump to Moscow again we have uh, a couple other things about world government and elections which is always so much fun the election game it's great doesn't work <laughs> It's crazy how that keeps happening, but it will. There is a way to do it, and we're getting there, and slowly but surely we are moving in that direction in which there is more even representation amongst the sovereign beings on this planet. It's getting there. That's why we're here. We're working together to create this heaven on earth. The card that I received today is the Dreamer card. We got this card yesterday, and this means there is a leap of faith to follow your dreams, there is unexpected opportunities coming in. To get this two days in a row, the zero card, the first card in the deck, is pretty cool. And so I truly wish this and these blessings upon you. Let these unexpected opportunities um, be arriving in your life and be received with such bliss and happiness and thank you for these gifts is all I have to say about that. Um, for those of you who are aware and who are not, we have a Facebook page for the Ascension Diaries and you can book an appointment with myself if you would like a session. Of course, you can go and click the book now button and it will lead you there. I'm still taking um, monthly clients for Ascension work, basic, basically soul work and counseling. If you would like my support on a monthly basis to keep you accountable for your your growth and support you with all of my love then you can do that as well um if you'd like the patreon link is here and all you have to do is pledge anyone who pledges 50 dollars a month or more gets to have two hours with me guarantee every month and there is 22 spots i left open there is 15 i think left 14 or 15 left so that spot is available for you if this resonates and of last but not least Please, if you have not already, I invite you to join the Ascension Diaries Instagram page. It is quite the place to be. And for those of us who are on Instagram, I just wanted to share uh, my most recent post with you because I thought it was funny. And that is basically, if this is relatable, let me know in the comments below. <laughs> Otherwise, that's going to be everything for me today. Thank you so much, angels, for being here, and I love you very much. And until next time, goodbye. <laughs>